but here we go. Hopefully this takes less than five minutes. It's going to come a lot down to um, whoever can space better and they got to get the weaving motions in and out and Hoif looks like he knows what he's doing even though he claims he hasn't played in the Puff Ditto. Then again, the Puff Ditto is kind of like any other matchup except rests are punished with rests and you don't want to rest just now. A pretty even percent right now. Um, mono spacing back airs. Hmm? A spare control? No, but you can use mine for handy. So, pretty even game right now. Um, if Poiv almost kills himself, but he's puffed, so he's gonna be living for a really long time. Mono with his patented forward smashes, it seems that everybody in AZ really likes to forward smash. So, um, usually he forward smashes when he should be back airing. But in the Puff Ditto, it's not too bad. Puff can't really punish a well spaced forward smash with a whole lot. Three forward smashes in a row, and Poif takes the first stock with a forward air. Um, now that he's at 120, he might consider resting because he can get the stock and he'll have a stock lead so even if he gets rest punished he's absolutely fine though 52% right now is pretty good for what he wants to accomplish that's an F smash um, if he wasn't at such a high percentage up smash would have been the better choice it has a little more kill power especially on puff so um, that's that 103% on mono though that's a really big number and um, he really has to put in a lot of work to stock if he wants to come back up throw might start killing kinda soon I am not really sure but it's definitely a possibility Oh, charges the F smash. He should have just gone for it earlier. And Puff should take the stock there. There he is. 55%. Uh, Mono can definitely bring this back. He just needs to space a lot of good moves. Back air. That should have been a grab. There it is. Gets the grab. Um. I want to see more up airs out of these guys because up airs actually kill pretty fast in this matchup. Good grab. Nice follow up. Get some good percent trades, but Mono gets the stock. Um, this is still very much doable if. Yeah, Mono can get some good percent. Dash attack. I'm pretty sure Puff can punish her own dash attack. So whenever Puff throws the other one off stage, they're not really looking for the edge guard. They're just looking for some good percent while they come back in, because that can give them a lot of advantages. Good grab. Will he get anything off of it? No, goes for a pound. Um, he probably should have followed up with aerials. Yeah. Jack versus JJ. Uh, why don't we both commentate? Okay. Ryan has a second headset. Okay. <laughs> uh, just and Poth Poif takes game one. Um. I was informed that next on stream we'll have the revenge. We're gonna have JJ versus Jack. Um, last time, I want to say Jack took it in a pretty significant manner. Um, he managed to get four 
full side B's off while using a roll to stop him from following it up. Did you win? Did you win? Oh, okay. So Mono goes to his pocket Ness because he doesn't want to play the Ditto anymore. Um, he plays Ness in PM as well as 64, but he decided to pick Puff up for melee. Goes for a rest, but not a whole lot of punish coming from Mono. Good back air. Um, I don't think that's his best option for edge guards. He's done it a couple of times now. I really think he should be looking for something else. I'm not sure what he was looking for the up throw. He might just not be familiar with the matchup and he was trying to go for a combo, but Ness is pretty floaty, so that's not going to work on him. Oh, go for this troll out and connects with it. Mono's gotta be sad with what just happened right now. Somehow this match is going just as slowly as the last one. Uh, I'm gonna say it's matchup knowledge. I don't think that uh, Poith is very comfortable with this matchup. So he's playing a little bit safer, which probably explains the very slow paced match. But as I say that, Pyth gets a lot of damage with a pretty nice combo. Yeah, sounds good. Gets the down air, almost gets the baseball bat. Crowd begins chanting that as he gets another down air. Tries to go for another one, but Poif is not going to have any of that anymore. Two back airs, and that's all he needs to take the stock. Mano's really been trigger happy with his forward smashes. They haven't seen they haven't seemed to be working for him, but he keeps going for them a lot of the time. Good. good. Two very confusing up smashes there. I'm sure he tried to use aerials. That's not going to work on Puff. Ooh, and sh she rests him. No punish from Mano. And right now it looks like Poif is going to be able to take it. Fully charged F smash. That's going to seal the deal. And things are looking really grim for Mono right now. Um, Poif has a whole stock to build up percent. So he doesn't have to worry about finishing him off right now. And Mono's already pretty high. So all he needs is a good back air into back air. Or throwing him off stage for an um, edge guard opportunity. Those neutral bees are not doing him any favors. Um, can Mono take another stock? He might be going for it. Another neutral B. Jigglypuff's air mobility is just too much. It's not going to connect. Misses the punish. He should have a forward smash there. Um, after Poif's forward smash did not connect. Good forward smash on shield. Very little punish. Up air. Can he get it? No, he cannot. He can't follow it up. And he'll recover here. Um, I'm pretty sure Fair has a lot of disjointed hitboxes, so it's a pretty good move to throw out. And there it is. The forward smash seals the deal. 2-0 And he's moving on.